So the whole market was looking extremely bullish, but we are starting to see a little bit of a dip. Should you be worried? Now I'm going to, in this video, show you exactly why the crypto market is taking a little bit of a dip and why you should not be worried. Despite this little bit of a dip, I think things are absolutely going to go crazy here very, very soon. Also, I am giving away in this video $1,000 of Ethereum to one lucky winner. So make sure you guys stay tuned to see who the winner was. What's up, Miles? It's ladies and gentlemen here. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you do not miss these time sensitive videos that I make about cryptocurrencies every single day. Also, if you love cryptocurrencies, do me a favor. I would really appreciate it. These videos are free. If you would just go ahead and give me a thumbs up, it would really help to break this video into the algorithm. And let me know in the comments below, are you buying this little dip here? Also, if you wanna get access to the most profitable trading community on all of YouTube and the internet for cryptocurrencies, join my Patreon right now where I put my buy and sell alerts. I also have services where you can talk to me on the phone. I do message all of my patrons on there every single day, and we can get you set up for this cryptocurrency bull run, getting properly diversified in the best cryptos. So let's go ahead and dive straight into the content. So the market was looking very, very bullish, and we are seeing a little bit of red, nothing crazy, but we had Bitcoin up almost 59,000, and it's about 57,000. So cryptocurrencies saw a little bit of a dip, a couple percents, nothing crazy. But cryptocurrencies, Ethereum was headed to the all time highs. Solana right now is starting to take off, even despite the dip is continuing to go up. Guys, when the market takes a dip, go ahead and take a look and see what cryptocurrencies are still green. Those are good cryptocurrencies that you want to be into. While there's bad news out there and those cryptocurrencies continue to go up, you want to have exposure to some of those coins. Some of these are like Elrond. These are a lot of the ones that we buy on the Patreon. Uh, Algorand, we have Crypto.com, Polygon, Terra. Terra is on a tear. This thing is just absolutely on a tear. And we have Solana in the top 10 looking very beautiful. But let me also show you this. We have a lot of cryptocurrencies that were in the higher positions of the top 10 that they're no longer there. And even cryptocurrencies that weren't even in the top 50, uh, you know, several months ago are now in like the top 10. Number five, look at this. Solana was way down the list several months back and look at how the tides have changed. So when you see that, it's also a good sign that when cryptocurrencies like Cardano, whenever cryptocurrencies pump up really fast and really strong, you wanna take your profits in those cryptocurrencies and put into something that hasn't really pumped or more stable things like Bitcoin and Ethereum. That's personally what I do because every single altcoin that has these massive pumps, guys, over time, they do end up having big corrections. They do end up having big corrections, but it doesn't mean that they're not gonna to continue to go up and break all time highs. So just a note there, but remember none of this is financial advice. So the reason why the market has gone down a little bit is because basically news in the stock market, news in the economy, news in the government, uh, and it's based on inflation. So the Fed chair came out today and says that they are looking to start to taper because of inflation is much higher. So Powell said today that inflation is tr not is no longer transitory, that it's here, guys, that it's here in a strong way. And that is a pretty scary thing, guys, to be completely honest with you. So when there is scary news like that for the economy, for the stock market, for the government, and this is only in the US, guys, it's all around the world. When there's news like that, guys, that causes fear, that causes panic. That's why we see a lot of dips. That's why some cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin should be over 100,000 right now. Ethereum should be over particular numbers and other cryptocurrencies that we have should be higher numbers. But news like this, what it does is it prevents the cryptocurrencies from reaching their goals in that particular time period. So what it does, it kind of puts a delay, but it doesn't prevent them from reaching those numbers. It just puts a time delay. So Bitcoin, if we didn't get that news about inflation in China a couple of weeks ago, I'm very, very certain that Bitcoin would have hit over 100,000, which means the whole crypto market would have done some amazing, amazing things, very bullish things. So that's just also to keep you informed. But, you know, a lot of us YouTubers, people in finance, people that are in cryptocurrencies, we have our price prediction, guys. And these price predictions can oh, can be wrong all the time because they're affected. We obviously can't control cryptos. They are affected by FUD, by news, guys. Cryptocurrencies are kept down, uh, stocks. A lot of things are kept down in life, especially investing in cryptocurrency by the big banks, by institutions, by the media. They try to put a stop on cryptocurrencies. They try to do everything they can to stop them. They won't stop them, but they can delay them. The government can't stop cryptocurrencies. They won't be able to stop Dogecoin or Shiba Inu. They can't stop the buyers of GameStop and AMC, all the apes. 
they can't stop them, but they can put a damper on them. They can try to scare them away. But as we are seeing over time, cryptocurrencies continue to recover over and over again. And that's why cryptocurrencies are here to stay and they're not gonna be stopping us. There's nothing in my opinion that can stop cryptocurrencies. If there's some crazy traumatic world event, yes, it can crash the markets, it can crash cryptocurrencies. But the thing about it is cryptocurrencies, despite every single crash it's had, continues to go up. Most cryptos like Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, other cryptocurrencies that have been around a long time and have seen a lot of catastrophic events in the world, they continue to recover over and over again. And the cryptocurrencies that don't recover, they end up going to zero and are forgotten. But the projects you want to invest in with crypto but the projects you want to invest in with cryptocurrencies are the ones that have true potential true adoption and the ones that have true potential and true adoption true real use cases they will always recover because their adoption and the people that invest into them aren't only people that are hyping things up like me and you or just regular investors they're bought and purchased and invested upon by banks by financial institutions by even very countries so moving on from this point I'm gonna show you the winner of the $1,000 of Ethereum. This person has commented Ethereum giveaway, has liked my videos, met all the requirements for the Ethereum giveaway. I just randomly selected a person and Sharon is going to be receiving the $1,000 of Ethereum. I am going to be messaging her, asking for her Ethereum address and I will be sending $1,000 of Ethereum. Let me know in the comments, guys, ways that I can give back to you guys, the viewers. I really appreciate the love and support of this community that we have. Let me know how I can give back to you. What are some giveaways? What do you think I should be doing? $100 of Doge a week, um, like $100 of cryptocurrencies a week. What do you guys think? What cryptocurrencies should I give? Um, should I be giving items and things and so forth? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But let's go ahead and move on. So here we have, guys, we always like to use Bitcoin as a reference if we are investors in Dogecoin or Shiba Inu because Bitcoin really shows us where the market is headed in the long term. So that's why I always like to reference and look at Bitcoin. But as we see, when Bitcoin was 29,000, this is when the whole market was crashed. Cryptocurrencies were so cheap, people were fearing that cryptos were going to zero. And look at what happened. There is a bounce and a recovery like crazy. And luckily in the Patreon, we bought a lot of these bounces and these recoveries. Um, the same exact pattern that we're seeing, guys, is playing out when Bitcoin was at extreme fear. The same thing, guys, the same exact pattern which we've seen inverse head and shoulders, which I show you guys on this channel all the time, how accurate they are, is playing out again right here. So it's very, very, very likely, guys, that we are about to blast off and have some crazy moves in the market. Despite the FUD, despite the inflation news and all that we're hearing about cryptocurrency, guys, I think things are still very, very bullish. Look, in the 30 minute time frame, we see a bit of red. We're just taking a look at Ethereum, but look guys, if we zoom out, look at Ethereum having a massive pump. If you would have bought the Ethereum dip just the other day, you would have made over 20%. And as of right now, Ethereum is seeing a drop of 5%. But let's take a look at Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu guys did, and it's still forming. The cup and handle is still very, very bullish. But Shiba Inu right now is continuing to correct, have a significant dip because it did pump 55% just the other day. And a lot of the people that invest in Shiba Inu and Dogecoin and some of their smaller coins are newer investors guys newer investors into the space so news like this when people start to see a little bit of red in the market can cause more volatility and also the cryptocurrencies that have less money or less market cap like bitcoin ethereum are also less volatile so you can see the swings whether they, they go up and when they go down are a lot more so as we know shiba inu just pumped up 55 percent the other day bitcoin barely pumped and bitcoin is barely going down uh, ethereum did pump up 20 percent, but it's down like three or three or four percent that's why we see the volatility is more of the smaller cryptos and also whenever something pumps up really hard and really fast just like shiba inu did the other day if you would have bought the bottom over 55 percent you generally will see 10 percent corrections 15 percent corrections 20 percent corrections and it's still up from the bottom 30 percent so nothing to worry about here ladies and gentlemen but this news could certainly trickle down and cause more fear we could see some more drops guys yes we could see some more drops we could see a little bit more red. We could even come all the way back down to the bottom again before bouncing up. But that's just what happens whenever there is negative news or causes fear and it causes the panics in the market, guys, where we do see these little dips. But for us, 
who are long-term and cryptocurrencies who are here to stay. These are just buying opportunities where we are able to get into some of these discounts because if you buy some of these bottoms, guys, you can make some serious profits. When you buy the bottoms, guys, which we do announce in the Patreon, that's where you make, that's where the real money is made, buying the dips, guys, and not the rips. And also, do not forget to get your two free stocks from Weeble worth up to $2,300. All you have to do is deposit one penny using my link below, and they'll send you two free stocks, which you can immediately sell or send to your bank account at any time. So that's going to be it for today's video. We're just doing a quick overview on the market, why the market was down, what's going on, and why I am still bullish. I'm still very, very bullish. So guys, I would not be worried. I would be just as excited as me when it comes to these dips because they're just more free discounts. Mm -hmm.